Hello and welcome or welcome back if you are new to this channel. My name is Jen and I have a box that I am so so excited about here. Um, so I've never opened one of these before. This box is new to me, new to this channel. And the other day I was uh, looking around on, on Crate Joy and the My Subscription Addiction <laughs> website. And uh, those sites, is just a rabbit hole. There are like hundreds of subscription boxes on there. I love subscription boxes. Um, and after looking at over all of those boxes, like this is the one that really caught my attention. Um, and it's from the Stem Cell Science Shop. And I went to their website and I was like, oh, yeah, this one, this one. <laughs> um, so I have my laptop here in front of me. So when you go to their website, I mean, they just have amazing, amazing products uh, that just really, really sparked my interest. Right now they have, um, it's called this Moonbeam Flora. It's this plant that glows in the dark. And I don't mean like glow stick color, like it's almost like a like when you put something white under a black light, except there is no black light. That's just, oh, I'm really tempted to get one of those. It looks really neat. They had pieces of an SR-71 wreckage. And it was really, I saw pieces, like just little fragments of, of this plane. And it says it sold out in 14 minutes. So they do have this shop where you can just go onto their website and purchase different products. But they also have a subscription box called Matter. And it says it's the only monthly box with real scientific artifacts and more. So when you're on their website, if you click, click subscribe, it takes you to their subscription box service. It says the universe is full of amazing things. Matter is our monthly box of intriguing scientific items. We search the planet for interesting forms of matter and send them to your door. A monthly dose of fascination to feed your curiosity. <laughs> I'm so excited about this one. And right now on their site, um, it says this month only take 50% off your first box with the code ATOMIC. Um, and that's right on their site, so you can find that code word there. Bonus, if you are a subscriber, you get 10% off of all of your purchases. If you see something else on their site that you like, you get 10% off. And they have it broken down into categories of different things you can get. They have fossils historic artifacts now this is the category that intrigues me the most the historic artifacts i've like looked over some of the things that they have and it's just whew, that excites me geological specimens really beautiful crystals and minerals they have pure elements scientific tools interesting materials products of the cutting edge of scientific research and natural specimens it says real science no fluff everything in a matter box will have some interesting scientific property don't expect t-shirts plushes or toys unless there is something scientifically fascinating about it um and that's what really stood out to me about this company in this box you know it's not like they're just sitting back and ordering some sciencey stuff to put in a box like it really seems like they are out there looking for like really cutting edge things to put in these boxes it says new month new stuff each month's box are all shipped in the first week of each month and you'll receive the newest items before they're even available in the store uh, so actually on their home page right now it says coming soon IMAX 12K film. Matter subscribers this month got to add IMAX film to their collections. If there are leftovers, they will be listed here by the end of the month. Kind of oh, that would have been really neat. Um, so this box here, what I did, if you were on the subscription portion of their website. Oh, I didn't talk about the price. So the subscription is $44.95 a month, free shipping. Um, but then there's a part that says, interested in a pass box, grab a discounted pass box from our vault here. And that's what this is. Uh, so this is not like September's matter subscription. Um, I went ahead and got like past items because it's just a one-time box you can just check it out so this was $29 and then I paid I think a couple dollars for shipping and it says what is matter matter is our monthly subscription box it is currently one of the top science boxes available I believe it <laughs> most months we have extra items and we offer a random assortment of these overstocked items here to anyone who may be curious about what to expect 
in the subscription. So that's what this is. This was just a one-time box. I uh, just wanted to check it out, share it with you, but I, I really think this might be a box that I would be interested in uh, subscribing to on a monthly basis. Uh, so again, check out their site. Let me grab my scissors and we will get into this box. Okay, so I'll open it up and this is what I'm seeing here. Pull this out. Oh, we've got a cool sticker, Stem Cell Science Shop. Oh yes, their website is stemcelltulsa.com. So they are located in Tulsa. Oh, and they're shipping on this first time, or on this one time box, super quick. I ordered this last Thursday and it came yesterday, which was Monday. So I ordered it right before the weekend and it showed up at my door right after the weekend. Uh, so shipping super quick. Okay, so I'm seeing something there right on top. <laughs> I do believe that there's cards inside here. Yes, there's cards to explain what the things are. Interesting. <laughs> so here's these cards here. I kind of don't want to look at the cards just yet. But So here's what the back of the cards look like. And then the front of the cards have information on it. So it actually... There's a lot of one, two, three, four, five, six, six different cards. So I'm assuming six different items in here. So let's go ahead and pull. Woo! Very cool. Very neatly packaged. Oh, we have some more things in boxes. I see some rocks. Okay, so here's one two, three, four, five. Ooh, what is that? Ooh, and six. Okay, so I have my six items here. Oh, that's cool. Looks like kind of like a shell kind of thing. Oh, are those like little, little teeth? It's hard to, can you see them in there? <laughs> there's one, two, three, four, there's five little things in there. Oh, this is a beautiful, whatever it is. I took, I think I took a geology class in college and you know, we had to learn all the different, um, you know, rocks or the, you know, the proper names. I had such a hard time, I like failed that test. <laughs> oh, here we have 24,000 strand carbon fiber toe, the strongest human made fiber by tensile strength. Interesting. And then inside this box, whoa, look at that. Wow. Okay, and then we have this. <laughs> well, this is pretty heavy duty. Cool. <laughs> okay. The first one. This is a this is a suction cup. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it says a suction cup is a common object that most people never put much thought into. But they are fascinated in, in their simplicity. When suctioned to a smooth, non-porous surface, the internal pressure is reduced below that of the surrounding atmosphere, creating a partial vacuum. The outside air would quickly fill this void, but as long as a good seal is maintained, the air is unable to squeeze between the surface and the suction cup. This industrial strength suction cup can hold up to 110 pounds. <laughs> Oh, in addition to lifting smooth objects, it can also be used to remove dents from cars. Oh, this box just saved me a lot of money. <laughs> Test it out on my Jeep. <laughs> oh, humans have been using suction cups since the 200s BCE when gourds were used for suction in ancient medicinal rituals. Modern suction cups patented in 1868 as atmospheric knobs use improved materials, but are still quite simple. 
and then in fine print at the bottom, please do not attempt to scale glass buildings. <laughs> oh, this is, I mean, this is like heavy duty. Uh, see that there? Okay, you know what I need this for? my gps on my windshield uh, it's always falling down i'm always like you know licking it and trying to get it to stick up there yeah attach my gps to this <laughs> this is really neat i'm gonna test it out in the dents of my car <laughs> cool okay so that is that item all right, the next card here, it says Tower of Jewels. These seeds, I'm going to assume that that's, what, that's what's in here. So these are seeds. Hmm. These seeds are Echium Wild pre Pretty. <laughs> I'll put the word here. Also called Tower of Jewels. It is a rare, unusual looking plant only known to grow natively in one island in the world on the volcano Mount Teed in the Canary Islands. Hmm. We're gonna have to look up what they look like. Tower of Jewels is named after its tall cone of bright red flowers that bloom atop silvery foliage that sparkles in the sunlight. Oh, sparkly! They can grow up to eight feet tall and they have a high nectar content so bees and hummingbirds love it. They are also deer resistant, bug proof, and drought tolerant. The species was named the Royal Horticulture Society's prestigious award of garden merit for its performance as a prized ornamental. It also self-sows, so after it blooms and its life cycle ends in the second year, it will drop seeds to begin again on its own. Growing instructions are available at boxofmatter.com. Oh, that's really exciting. As I was reading through there, I'm like, oh, okay, is this just a neat thing to keep on the shelf being like, oh, I have seeds of Tower of Jewels, or can I actually plant it? Oh. <gasps> I'm gonna have to bring in the help of my husband because I kill anything that I try to garden with. Um, <laughs> that's really neat. We're definitely planting these. Oh, that's really cool. Uh, so this really pretty rock here <laughs> is called a colorless, colorless labradorite. <laughs> it's really, really pretty. I like that a lot. This white stone is a unique variety of labradorite, sometimes called rainbow moonstone. Most, labrador most labradorite is a dark gray, but this variety is technically called colorless since in geology, color is usually caused by impurities in the crystal structure. Just like with most labradorite, labradorite when viewed at certain angles, a splash of bright colors can be seen on its surfaces. This is called labradorescence and is, and is a result of internal submicroscopic fractures in the layer that reflect light back and forth between dispersing it at different angles, which produce different colors. The level of the iridescence depends on the precise chemical composition as well as the rate of cooling during formation as the cooling is what causes the fractures. Although it's unofficially called rainbow moonstone, it's technically not a moonstone, a mineral with a similar iridescence, but a difficult, but a different chemical composition. That's really cool. So there is that one. Uh, next, we're going to pick up this little shell looking thing. So this is actually a fossil. I don't know if you can see the ribbed detail on there, like the lines on there. This is a brachiopod fossil. This ribbed shell is a fossil of the order Rhinecone Elida. Eli <laughs> These brachiopods have existed since the or Ordovican period 485 million years ago. Their population was severely diminished during the Permian Triassic extinction event 252 million years ago, but the Rhyconelida 
became the most abundant brachiopod group during the Mesozoic. This group is identifiable by their deep ribbed surfaces and short hinges, which usually come to a point. These bivalves were the first to evolve teeth sockets, which help to align the two halves as they close and make it harder for a predator to open the shell by twisting the valves. It is hypothesized that the radiating rib pattern helps regulate the flow of water in and out of the shell. This fossil is millions of years old, but this order still exists today, but not nearly as abundant as they once were. So yeah, it's a pretty, pretty cool looking fossil there. Okay, next, let's, let's do this cool looking thing here. This here is an atlas bone. The atlas is a ring-shaped bone that allows the head to pivot and tilt in most vertebrae while also protecting the spinal cord. It is the first of seven cervical vertebrae in the spine and one of the most important bones in the body. An amazing achievement of evolution, this simple bone allows a wide range of movement while also protecting the delicate brainstem that passes through its center. Nodding your head is only possible because of this bone. The atlas bone is named from the mythical Greek god who carried the world on his shoulder as it functions to support the globe of the head. A broken atlas is called a Jefferson fracture after a British neurosurgeon who documented incidents which led to the unusual injury. This, oh, this particular atlas belonged to a wild coyote and is similar in size to that of an average human. Wow, so I have here a coyote's atlas bone. Cool! <laughs> and then the bottom it says, these bones have been ethically sourced from naturally deceased animals in the wild. That is, oh, that is amazing. Oh, that's really cool. Okay. And our last thing here is the carbon fiber toe in here. So let's see what it looks like. Oh, wow. Cool. Huh. Let's read about it first. It says this black yarn called a toe consists of 24,000 individual strands of interlocking carbon atoms. Huh. Each strand may only be about one-tenth of the diameter of a human hair, but with a tensile strength of 7,000 megapascals, they are the strongest fibers ever made. For comparison, human hair has a tensile strength of 200 megapascals and the strongest known steel is rated at 2,639 megapascals. So the strongest steel is like 2,600 and this is 7,000? Carbon fiber was invented in 1860 as a light bulb filament, but it wasn't until the 1960s that the process was refined to purify the material, leading to a drastic increase in strength. A toe such as this is typically woven into fabric, which creates the cross-hatch pattern commonly associated with carbon fiber materials. The fabric can then be permeated with a resin and baked to form a solid material perfect for lightweight structural reinforcement in everything from golf clubs to aircraft parts. In addition to an impressive strength to volume ratio, carbon fiber also features high chemical resistance, high temperature tolerance, and low thermal expansion. However, it is also very expensive when compared to alternatives such as fiberglass. So yeah, that is pretty cool. I mean, it looks like, you know, like thick human hair it really does. It's kind of, kind of creepy. Um, that's really neat though. I'm gonna roll this back up and keep this in here. Interesting. Yeah, so this was a great 
example of what their um, their matter subscription box, uh, some of the items that might be included in there. I really like this. I think this is definitely something I will consider subscribing to on a regular basis. Um, oh, this thing is really neat. <laughs> I learned a lot. I'm definitely going to look into planting these. That'll be neat. Uh, but yeah, I mean, let me know what you think. Have you heard of this box before? What do you think of the items in it? Yeah, I think this was really cool. So uh, thanks for joining me to, to watch this unboxing. And uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you next time. Bye.